Hello everyone, today I have a video about how to make uh, use the circle tool on Rhino. Um, so it's pretty simple and but there are some cool stuff that you can learn from this. So let's look into it. If I first see if I click on the right, I can see all the different tools for the circle tool. They're basically different ways to make a circle. So the first one is uh, it's really simple. You just start from the middle and it creates a circle. Uh, you can write the dimension here. So I can say 5 meters and we have a circle. The diameter of this is 5 meters. Um, I could make this a surface if I wanted to and I can extrude it or do whatever I want to do. So that's a really simple way of uh, making a circle. Here's a, a different way to make a circle. Uh, it's a two-pointed um, circle. So if I firstly start off with the first point, when I um, click again, I can make a, a circle. So basically using two points, I can use a circle. The third one is pretty easy, just using three points. So I could go one, two, and make a circle judging on the on the third, the first and second and the third uh, points. I could even write a dimension like five meters and then basically th this is five meters apart and then click and make another one and say maybe 20 meters. So it's 20 meters from this to that circle. So it's making a really big circle because um, because it's like 20 meters and it gets really big. Okay, so a cool thing that I wanted to show you guys is you can make um, the fourth tool here is making a vertical circle on top of a curve. So I, if I have, let's say, a curve like this, I could just make a curve. Um, I just press enter and I have a curve like this. And let's say I want a circle vertical and I want to extrude it, uh, the circle along this curve. So this tool is pretty useful. If I just click on it, I press on the curve, I can pick a point where I want to start making a circle. Let's say, let's choose this end and then we can make a circle. Again, we can put a, di a dimension on that and we have a vertical circle on the curve. You may say, like, what will we ever do with something like this? Well, you could make this surface over here, surface from planar curve, and then you could extrude it along the curve so it makes a really cool shape. And you can use this maybe if you're an architect or doing something. It might, might help you, you know. So here we have a surface. We can go to solids and say, extrude surface uh, along curve over here. You can say along curve. Select path of the curve. If I just select this, you can see I have a really cool shape. So it basically extruded it along the curve. So I selected my surface and I picked the path and it extruded it along this curve. So this could be used anywhere, it doesn't have to be a curve or um, it, it could be longer or shorter or as like as long as you can imagine it, you can make it, you know, as long as you know what you want to make, you can make it using this simple command. I just made something really simple but uh, you can make whatever you want to make from this uh, kind of command. So. Other stuff that might be useful in the circle command is you could um, you could make um, a circle tangent to a curve. Um, maybe it could be useful. I'm not very sure. I never used it, but um, so basically you have a curve or you have a line or whatever, and um, if you want to make a circle f uh, tangent to it, you can start pressing on it and using another circle as a guide 
you can make a circle. <laughs> so yeah, it's a bit of a weird comma, but okay, the other one is to make vertical circles. So it can be really frustrating if you're trying to always go to the front view, the top view, to try to make a, a circle uh, vertical, you know, but you can do it from the perspective view and click on the vertical one and make a vertical circle, just like that. You can make that a surface, you can make a hole in it, you can do whatever you want. This is basically the same, but it's uh, using two points. So I'm using two points as a, to make my circle. Again, it's on a vertical plane, so it could be really useful. One more command that might, uh, which got my attention, is uh, making a circle from uh, dot from spots. So um, from dots. So let's say I have like uh, I have a dot. Let's make multi points. So I have a a point there, I have a point there, so I have three points which I've picked and I want to make a circle from them, I want kind of a circle like this, something like this that goes through them. Then I just click on this command and I press them, I say enter and it creates me a circle from the three points going through the three points itself so guys that is the end of the circle tool uh, we've covered in my channel we've covered um, how to make uh, how to use the the line tool how to use the curve tool and today we learned how to make the um, circle tool <laughs> and we'll go all the way down to try to learn everything we can. Uh, these tools will just really help you to uh, later on we'll start learning how to make solids and how to use the editing commands to uh, manipulate the solids and combine them and do different stuff with them but these are basically the basic tools to get started on uh, making shapes and surfaces because you make uh, solids from surfaces and you can make um, lines to surfaces so they're all interconnected and this is the the basic start point on using a, this 3D uh, modeling software. So I'm going through all of them one by one on every episode. I'm going to try to keep them more short from now on and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you.